This is the ultimate guide to fully optimize your PC gaming experience. Our goal is to get the most FPS, getting rid of lag, stuttering and crashes as well. Let's go. Number one, power plan. Open up the command prompt, search bar, type CMD, don't, don't do anything, no enter. Right click, run as administrator and put in the command I put in the description. Done. Ultimate power plan activated. Number two, GPU scheduling. Type in GPU and check that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is accelerated. Number three, game mode. Type in game, open up game mode settings, enable game mode. Number four, core isolation, TPM and secure boot. Search bar, TPM, enter. Check it if it's enabled. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds. Okay, you see, activate your yeah, TPM2 is activated. Perfect. Click on device security. Now we see secure boot is on. Perfect. Core isolation. Click on that. Core isolation details. Disable that for more performance, but only during gaming. After gaming, enable that again. Number five. Type in exploit. There you see system settings. Go to program settings. Add a program, whatever you like. What uh, do I have got here? I have Battlefield 5 already added to the list. Now I edit. I scroll down to Control Flow Guard and say yes. I check mark override system settings and disable the Control Flow Guard. This is necessary to get some games running, like an example Battlefield 5 and Battlefield 2042. Number six, Game Bar. Go to Game Bar. Disable game bar. Done. Number seven, background apps. Have a background, open up background apps and disable let the apps run in the background because we want the best performance by gaming. Number eight, notifications. Type a notification, go to not notification and action settings and disable all notifications. We don't want that. Number nine, clear startup apps. Open up task manager, go to startup and disable everything unnecessary. Excluding, of course, Antivir and maybe some software for your RGB or um, uh, motherboard or graphics card and so on from, from maybe MSI Center or Corsair software. Number 10, page file. Go to control panel, type in control, open up control panel, go to system, go to advanced system settings, window pops up, advanced, click on settings, advanced tab, click on change, uncheck automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Select custom size, enter one and a half times and top and two and a half times bottom the amount of your RAM. We do this to prevent out of memory errors and system slowdowns. Number 11, overlays. We disable the Discord overlay. We scroll a bit down, go to overlay. We disable both. Done. Disable Steam Overlay. Open up Steam. Click on Steam. Go to Settings. Go to In-Game. Uncheck Overlay while in-game. Number 13. Disable Ubisoft Overlay. Open your Ubisoft Launcher and go to Interface and disable the overlay for all supported games. Number 14. Disable EA App Overlay. Open up the EA App. Enter the menu. Go to Settings. Go to application, scroll down, disable in-game overlay. Number 15, optimize your drives. Type in defrag and optimize everything. 16, clean drives. Type in clean, open up disk cleanup, click OK. Window pops up, select trash bin, recycle bin and a DirectX shader cache. Press leave as is, done. Number 17. Make sure you have always at least more than 100 gigabytes free on your system drive. Open up the file explorer, go to your C drive and check that you have at least that amount of 100 gigabytes free or your system will slow down and eventually crash. Number 18. Make sure that on your other drives you always have at least 10% free for best performance. Number 19. Open up apps and programs, go to programs and features. And we're looking for the NVIDIA Frameview SDK and we deinstall that. Uninstall. 
close. 20. Deinstall the NVIDIA app if you installed it. We don't want that. Slows down. 21. NVIDIA control panel options for best performance. Open up the NVIDIA control panel and then go to anisotropic filtering, set it to 16 times, then go to low latency mode, then select ultra, go to power management mode, select prefer maximum performance, refresh rate, highest available, texture filtering, negative lot bias, clamp, and texture filtering quality to high quality. If you have G-Sync, you want to set your monitor technology to G-Sync compatible or G-Sync ultimate, and then turn V-Sync on. Apply, done. 22. We want to deactivate Ansel and do some other stuff in a later step. Therefore, we need to download the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, and therefore we head to the google3d.com website and download that. Download, extract and install that. Then open up the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Select the global profile. Click somewhere. Press Ctrl F for search. Enter Ansel. And now we disable everything. Disallow and off. Apply. Done. 23. Install the latest Microsoft Visual C++ redistributables. Therefore open up the browser. Go to the download page is in the description, no worries. Latest supported, click on and download for X83. This is the one you want. Download and install. Download the latest Microsoft DirectX. Therefore, we go to the web page where we can download that. Simply click on download and install that. Blah, blah, blah. I've already done that. Accept, blah, blah. Okay, done. Ready. 25. Deleting the NVIDIA shader cache. Therefore, we go to the NVIDIA control panel. Go to th manage 3D settings again. Scroll down. Go to shader cache size. Set it to disabled. Apply. And restart PC. After the PC is restarted, we open up the file explorer and type in percent app data percent. Then we go one back to app data. We go to local. NVIDIA folder and we delete everything what's inside the DX cache folder and everything which is inside the GL cache folder. Then we go to app data back and we go to local low. Again, NVIDIA, DX cache, delete everything. 26. In we install the MSI afterburner. Now that we deleted the NVIDIA app and the FrameView SDK, we want another monitoring solution, which is the MSI Afterburner. Go to the page. This is in the description below. Download that MSI Afterburner. Zip. Extract that. And install it. Make sure to uncheck Norton's 360 for Gamer is unchecked. Then install that. I did that already. Now we set up monitoring. Real quick, what you will install with this package is the MSI Afterburner and the River Tuna Statistics Server as well. Now I opened up the River Tuna Statistics Server and here you see you can theoretically limit your frame rate. Never do this in this tool. If you want to limit your frame rate, do it in the NVIDIA control panel, otherwise you will experience lag and stutter. Input lag. Okay, um, if you want to Put your overlay to some other place, then le left top, then you can do so by clicking on the 60 and then put it wherever you want. That's it. You can make it bigger as well, small, big, how you like it. Okay, done. In order to have the overlay working, we open up the MSI afterburner. I put it in the middle, one second. So we click on this thing here on the button, settings. And the first thing we do is we go to user interface and select the MSI Cyborg Afterburner skin, white by Derek's design. It's or for overview, it's better. You can leave everything here as is once installed. 
then we will set our key combo for activating and deactivating the overlay. For, de for activating the overlay, you go to show on screen display. I have Alt F1. And for hiding, I have Alt F2. Once done, click OK. Now we come to the actual monitoring options. You want to make 100% sure that you deselect, meaning uncheck all these check marks from everything. And what you want usually is you want your GPU temperature and the GPU temperature and so on. But before we go on, let me just show you one example. So if it wasn't checked, then we would check that. And then we say here, bit bottom, show an on-screen display. We check that and can select text, graph or whatever. We select text. For GPU usage, we select text and as well show an on-screen again now. And I will, do, I will make this fast. Let's go through. You want memory usage, you want core clock, memory clock. There's quite some options, guys. It's tedious, but you have to do it. Otherwise, you can have frame hitches. You want your CPU temperature, you want your CPU usage, and you want your RAM usage. You want your frame rate shown, and you want the frame time graph shown. Therefore, check frame time as well. And only here we select text and graph 27 for being able to swap DLSS versions and always use the latest or the one you want or FSR or XESS. We have an application which is called DLSS Swapper. We go to the GitHub page. I post the link in the description and then we download the latest one. I already did that. I opened up the application. This is how it looks. Once installed, you click on refresh one time and new DLLs. Give it a few seconds, it will search for all applications which support either DLSS, FSR or XESS from Intel. Then you can see in the library which are the latest versions of everything. Then an example, let us uh, take uh, Cyberpunk and there the original DLL is 3.1.1 when I click OK reset then it resets but I want the latest one so I click on that um, when you click on that the first time it will download swap done we do the same for DLSS frame generation we download the first time latest version swap done DLSS Ray Reconstruction, latest version, book, check, swap, done. That's it. If you want preset K, you can also select preset K or other presets if you like. Done. 28. We go back to our NVIDIA Profile Inspector because we want to enable NVIDIA Multiframe Generation three times or four times. This is only possible now via the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, very conveniently for every profile, every game profile, like in the NVIDIA app. But since we do not have that installed anymore because it's crap, we use the NVIDIA Profile Inspector, which we downloaded and installed earlier. Um, I have Ghost of Tsushima, Director's Cut. Yes, it is supported natively, but you can change it with the NVIDIA Profile Inspector as well. We do not want the NVIDIA app trash. As you can see here, under DLSS Frame Generation, Multiframe Generation Count, I can set it to two, three, and four times, and I have all the other options, like the DLSS um, frame generation override for the latest version. I can select every preset I want. I can set the quality level I want from performance to DLAAA, and I can as well set a percentage I want DLSS to use, an example. Okay. Once done with the changes you want, then for, I don't know, Ghost of Tsushima, Assassin's Creed, Shadows, Cyberpunk 2077 or whatnot, then you're done. 29. We want to enable high CPU process priority and the easiest way to do so is by downloading an awesome free application. It's totally free. Therefore, we go to the Bitsum page and download Process Lasso. It's for free and there's a free version and it's forever free. I already did that. 
then in the tray you will have a symbol here, bottom right, and I open up the Cess Lasso. I have the Pro version, I paid for it, but it also works with the totally free version with what we want to do. What we want to do is we want to select a game. Let's just assume Explorer is a game. Now I want to right click on explorer.exe and then we go to CPU priority, a priority, current and set it to high. And for the next time, because we want to save it and not having to do it all the time, then we go to CPU priority, always high, save, exit, done. That's all for today. Ultimate Game Club, peace out.